House Review, right? Yes, and we're review. Thank you. So item G3, resolution 2018-09, facing the employer's contribution under the Public Employees Medical and Hospital Care Act. And Eric Gorsuch and the group, and this is pretty much a standard for their plate thing. Does anyone have a motion? Existing policy lacked is it didn't uh, provide any specification as to where those reserve funds would be held. Um, so this attempts to clean this up based entirely on feedback received at the last meeting. with uh, that ultimately on an accounting balance sheet will uh, reduce the district's overall liability as opposed to not having anything stated because this is the board stating we will do 60000 Their projections show that a minimum $60,000 annual payment would relieve the district of this reli liability within 30 years um, at the current status quo. Um, with that said, uh, well, actually our status quo has reduced because status quo is based on total staffing uh, and future anticipation of staffing. So we've actually uh, already eliminated one position since that point with the retirement of Chief Roach and bringing on the uh, uh, center fell to provide chief officer services. So those things would be impacted. Uh, that won't you won't realize that until we do our next full actuarial study, which won't happen until the fiscal year after next, um, at which point they will take a new census of our staffing and, and levels and go from there. Um, but it will provide a more uh, advantageous discount rate within the actuarially accepted guidelines. The total obligation, however, will be growing. It's not going to diminish at any time. The total the total liability will actually diminish because you will have money set aside to address that liability specifically with each contribution into the trust. Which is Makes correct. Sense. I mean, yes, 30, 30 years basically pay off. Okay. Correct. 
at yes. that sixty thousand dollar rate. It should be noted that this year actually the board allocated a hundred thousand towards it. Um, so you're paying it down that much quicker in terms of growing the trust. It's the pension rate I'm thinking of. That's totally yeah, very well could be. That liability is absolutely growing. But just for OPEP purposes, we'll begin to uh, yeah, no, it, positively I, impact that. It's definitely the only goal in my opinion. As long as health care benefit or health care costs. And that is uh, also the thing. There is a, you are correct. There's a lot of variables in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, other questions, comments from the board? Questions, comments from the public? Yeah, and again, I gave you a detailed staff memo, and I would certainly invite Chief Gray to comment in on this as he is more familiar with uh, Mira and the governing board, I assume, than I am, not the quick the spot chief. Uh, but uh, the bylaws of Mira and all the participating agencies basically say, state that each agency uh, participating, as which Marinwood is, needs to appoint a representative to the Mira governing body and preferably an alternate representative as well. The representative can either be a board member, a managerial level staff, um, and to quickly get Chief Gray off the hook here before the question gets asked, um, he cannot serve as our representative because technically he is not an employee or an elected officer of Marinwood, nor can anybody else in Santa Fe. So I tried that out in uh, a long time ago, <laughs> and they said no. Um, so it, again, it could be a board person, it could be a staff person. Uh, they meet on Wednesdays. I actually meant to include uh, Maureen Cassingham, who is the executive director of Mira, did send me a calendar of future meetings. Uh, and it is entirely my oversight that it was not included. They meet on Wednesdays, um, typically once a month, and typically, I believe, at 3 or 3.30 p.m. Last two and 3.30. Yeah, 3.30. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of it, obviously, is going to be based on availability. I would tell you uh, those particular days, um, I can generally make myself available at the, the direction of the board as well, unless there's somebody on the board who doesn't strong interest in wanting to do it, then I'm happy to fill in as an alternate to have to play whatever role. All right, thank you. So, this is appointing a group. Um, I mean, is there anybody on the board who's interested in this? I have a question. Of the other 24 agencies, uh, what's the preponderance of their primary designee, is it a staff person or an elected official? It's pretty well mixed. I've gone to one or two meetings, and again, Chief Gray might be able to speak to this better. There, are, you know, There's a mix of elected officials versus a mix of uh, management level staff. Uh, uh, throughout that, you say it's, I don't know that it's 50-50 or 60-40, but I don't think that it's a strong sway in either direction. I personally cannot make these meetings. Um, these are my very passionate about Mira. I'm sorry, I'm studying it publicly. Uh, but um, so I would be thrilled if you would be able to comment on um, district's behalf. That's my personal. Thoughts. Okay, fine. Well, uh, I'll volunteer in some capacity. Mira scares me. I need to get closer to it. So. Thank you. So that sounds like perhaps we need a motion to for an appointment and alternate. If we have somebody who wants to make a motion. I have another question. Oh, sorry. Uh, Former board members can't do it under a bunch of Thank you, but that wasn't the question. <laughs> no, I'm just Jeff sounded interested because he's concerned about it. Your said you're available, and I realize you have lots and lots of spare time to attend other meetings. Uh, I'm just, from what I'm hearing, I think, and the smiles that I see, uh, I, I would recommend that Jeff be appointed with uh, Eric as the alternate. Is that the motion that you're making? Oh, I'm sure it's the motion, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Um, a second that. Okay, now we can have a little discussion. Or more discussion. Is there any more discussion up here? Okay, any discussion out there? Can I make a comment? I would say to recall that Chief Roach asked you several months ago if you would be the representative, and I thought I heard you say yes. So I think maybe you could be the alternate. I can be a second alternate. I'm happy to be a second alternate, but that's why I wanted. That's why I specifically actually brought this to me, agendize it to get other interest because I mean I'm happy to fill in, but it's not. Uh, I, I went to a meeting, and it's something about the, the topic's not exactly like my. Okay, because I thought you had already started going to them with Chief Roach. I, I went to one, but that. Okay. Like Thanks. Said, I'm happy to serve if necessary, but if there are other people have a little bit more um, enthusiasm, then I think that's wonderful. Thanks. Um, all right. I'll call the question. All those in favor? Aye. 